New York, Anne Beats, a groundbreaking comedy writer with a taste for sweetness and the macabre who was on the original staff of Saturday Night Live, and later created the cult sitcom, Square Pegs, has died. She was 74. New York, Anne Beats, a groundbreaking comedy writer with a taste for sweetness and the macabre who was on the original staff of Saturday Night Live, and later created the cult sitcom, Square Pegs, has died. She was 74. Beats died Wednesday at her home in West Hollywood, California, according to her close friend Rona Edwards. Edwards, a film producer and a fellow faculty member at Chapman University, did not immediately know the cause of death. Starting in 1975 and running for five seasons, Beats was among a team of gifted writers that included Rosie Shuster, Alan Zweibel, Marilyn Suzanne Miller and such cast members as Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase who helped make Saturday Night Live a cultural phenomenon. With Shuster, she would invent the beloved young nerds, the nasally, Marvin Hamlish adoring Lisa Lupner, played by Gilda Radner, and high-pantsed goofball Todd DeLamuca, Bill Murray, and help coin such catchphrases as Lisa's, that's so funny I forgot to laugh. Beats would later draw upon her own acknowledged background as an outsider in high school for her own series Square Pegs. If you look looked at the nerds, she knew that world, Zweibel told the Associated Press. She and Rosie handled those characters with love. She knew that world. If you look at Square Pegs, the title alone speaks volumes. Premiering in 1982, Square Pegs, was then a rare sitcom centering on teenage girls and starring Sarah Jessica Parker in an early role as a first-year high school student trying to fit in. Square Pegs lasted just one season but was loved by critics and later praised for anticipating, and topping, the teen comedies John Hughes would soon become famous for. The show was also just plain cool, speaking to teens with a shared interest in their interests that made young people feel seen before the Hughes movies would have a similar effect, New York Magazine's Jen Cheney wrote in 2020. No other show on TV back then would have focused an entire episode on a Pac-Man addiction or a new wave-themed bat mitzvah that featured the actual band Devo performing, that's good. On Thursday, Parker tweeted, struggling to find adequate and appropriate descriptive words to describe her singular self. I need time. Cuz I'm coming up short. Gosh, she was really something. Rip Ann. Thank you. For memories very few 17 eighteenths of a year olds get to make. Beats later credits included writing for, Murphy Brown, and, The Bells of Bleecker Street, producing, A Different World, and helping to write the stage musical, Leader of the Pack. She is survived by her daughter, Jaylene, sister Barbara Risucha, and nieces Jennifer and Kate Dreger. Beats was a native of Buffalo, New York, who eventually settled with her family further downstate in Summers.